Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. Welcome to another edition of Great Millstone Mailbag Extra. Comes to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Barshim Yahushai, Barshim Rakakwadash. All praises and glory is due. And I'm here for another edition of the Daily Edification, the Daily Exhortation. So I'm watching this video here, right, by um, Elder uh, Yashwamba of uh, Dallas, Texas, who, you know, does really good videos. And um, when I say does really good videos, I'm talking about a brother who, who does videos with the goal of edification. Okay, that's what a video should be all about. It should be about edification. It should be able to build up a brother's faith. That's what a video is truly the purpose of a video. And he's one of those brothers that do that. So um, he did this video here, Vocab Malone and the con the Confusion of Christianity. And, and about the fifth minute, 51 second, he's talking about... Um, He's talking about uh, formal education versus spiritual education, basically. And um, I'm just going to play uh, play uh, the clip of what I heard, and I'm going to go into this video. Okay, because basically this, this guy, Vocab, came on our comment board yesterday. You saw the previous, if you saw the previous video I did. And he, he's boasting about how he went to seminary school. And just like Elder Positar said, the, the, the Lord didn't, how about Shem Yahushai didn't put his spirit or or his knowledge in a seminary school, okay? And there's examples to support this. So without further ado, let me play this clip, and then I got a couple of scriptures I'm going to go into. Okay, Isaiah, like like Vocab Malone, he boasts that he went to a seminary school, but he's still saying the earth is going to uh, be utterly destroyed. He doesn't know what the hell he's talking about, man. It's a big ball of confusion, man. The Bible clearly tells you that the Lord is going to set his people back up in the Holy Land. And the house of David will be uh, rebuilt as in the days of old. Yeah, and then um, concerning them seminary schools, vocab teaches that the people over there in Israel, are, uh, they're the people of the Lord. You know, he, he believes in that uh, madness that happened in, back in 1948 when... Uh, they announced the state of Israel being the state, you know, being the, the the Lord's people have come back home, and you know the state of Israel has has been established. Nineteen forty eight. When you read the scriptures, it don't talk about the state of Israel. It talks about the kingdom of the nation of Israel, all twelve tribes. Okay, that's what it's talking about, with Yahushai being the head. Okay, but that's a vi another video for another time. What, what I want to focus on is his boast of a formal education as as in uh, uh being educated to the scriptures in the seminary school which is total bs okay and i'm going to show you why why we say that first of all let's deal with our lord right our lord yahweh we always ask this question what formal school did our lord go to when he was alive on the planet earth doing his ministry more than two thousand years ago what school did he go to what what seminary school did he go to Huh? He was the school, <laughs> okay, and 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 so much so that his 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 his, uh, his um his people, his country people, they marveled at him because they knew that he didn't go to no formal seminary school, okay, in his day. Here's the answer right here: the book of John, the seventh chapter, the the fourteenth verse. It says this: Now about the midst of the feast, Yahweh went up into the temple and taught right and the jews that meaning his his countrymen his country the the people that were from around the area where he was living okay and the jews marveled so, well, wait a minute what does the word marvel mean <laughs> hold on let's take a break let's just look at this word marvel because we look up our words here that's what we do okay is the greek Strong's G, 2296, Thalmazo, Thalmazo. And it says to wonder, wonder at, marvel, to be wondered at, or to be had in admiration, admiration. Just like when, 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 if, you, if you would see your, your favorite movie star, right, or your favorite musician, you, you, would, you would marvel at him and say, oh, wow, this is, 
so and so wow check him out man oh shit i'm standing right next to the, this guy man wow you know that's how they looked at yahweh shai as he began to teach so much so they said this right as they were marveling at him they said this they said this and the jews marveled saying how knoweth this man let us having never learned what the hell does that mean now that means that he didn't go to no seminary school but he taught with such now the scriptures say he taught with authority you know he didn't teach teach like the scribes and the and the and the elders and the lawyers which did go to a seminary school they said yahweh Shah's words were with power and authority where did that energy come from it certainly didn't come from no seminary school because he didn't go to no seminary school so the question is where's that energy where did that energy come from it came from his father yahweh through the spirit okay through the spirit man and that's exactly how we teach we we never went to no seminary school this is what is meant here when when the scripture said let's read it again and the jews marveled saying how know if this man let us having never learned meaning he never went to no seminary school now what i did was i looked up that word learned get ready to be happy okay <laughs> you brothers out there uh i looked up the word no what did i do i looked up the word lettuce i believe well you know what let's look up the word lettuce okay let's look up the word lettuce I'll find it because I looked it up. Okay, as you can see, uh, writings, you know, were basically the scriptures, the books of, because in Yahushua's day, he had what? He had the Old Testament. He had the writings of Isaiah. He had the right because he quoted it. He had the writings of the Psalms. He had the writings of Ezekiel. He had the writings of Daniel. Okay, so that's what is meant by letters. The, remember, the, the, those were letters before they became books. The same thing with the Apostle Paul it tells you a letter to so-and-so okay they were letters then later they became books all right so and i believe that word letter goes back to the word read anyway uh now maybe it's the word learned i looked up let me see let me see if that's that's the uh, let me see uh was it no it, i don't think it was this word either i'll find it brothers i'll find it um see I know if this uh, bear with me for a minute now uh, or was it was it maybe it was this one okay yeah it, it, it is the scripture okay I, I went ahead of myself no biggie let me just go back to john 7 and 15 and the jews marveled saying how know if this man let us having never learned and that that's the point is there yahweh i never went to no seminary school that's the point okay then yahweh proceeds to say uh yahweh answered them and said my doctrine is not mine but his that sent me so who is that he makes reference to his father yahweh which gave him the energy to teach so wonderfully even though he never went to no seminary school, so much so that the Jews, being in the people from around his area, they marveled. They, they, and we looked up the word marvel, meaning they held him in admiration. They, they, were, they admired his teaching skill, the words that came out of his mouth, his energy, if you will, just like if you were to see your, your, your favorite movie star, favorite musician, okay? That's how they were looking at him, all right? That's the point. I made the point. Let's go to the next point. And it's the same thing with his apostles. They were, they were perceived as ignorant and learned men. Let's read it. Acts 4 and 13. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, which were what? Did it, they were the disciples of Yahweh Shai, which became apostles. Okay? Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, now, what does that mean? What's the true essence of that, of the understanding of that? Meaning they didn't go to no seminary schools as was the custom back then. Okay, a lot of the Jews did go to seminary schools and learned about the letters of Isaiah and the letters. They learned the, 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 the aspects of the law. But a lot of them were blind to the spiritual. There's, there's a spiritual language that's going on through the Bible. Okay, that many people are, are, are in the dark to. The spiritual 
essence of, of what's being said in the scriptures. Many people are in the dark to that, the hidden mysteries, okay? And, and vocab is one of them. <laughs> That's just the truth. He thinks he's on a level, but you ain't on no level, man. You're going to find that out. Well, you're finding it out. That's why you're getting mad and upset. Now, what the word that I did look up was, I remember now, was I believe it was ignorant. Yeah, that's the word I looked up, ignorant. Let's read it again. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men. Now, when you look up that word ignorant, let's play the Greek. Strong's G, 2399, idiotes, idiotes. Now, I'm going to get right to the point. In the New Testament, which is what we're reading, right? The New Testament, an unlearned, illiterate man, as opposed to the learned and educated who did go to schools, just like vocab boasting. He went to this seminary school, which we keep telling you, dumbass, you wasted your money. They didn't teach you the hidden aspects of this Bible. This Bible has a spiritual language, and you didn't learn that at your seminary school. That's why you could answer a simple question as, where's America in the Bible? That's, a simple, that's Bible 101. Okay, you made statements like the whole earth is going to be destroyed. <laughs> you don't understand the spiritual aspect of this Bible. That's your, that's your problem, okay, vocab. In the New Testament, an unlearned, illiterate man as opposed to the learned and educated, one who is unskilled in any art, okay? But the first part is it hits it home. It, you know, in the New Testament, an unlearned and illiterate man, meaning a man that didn't go to no seminary school. And they looked at the apostles as being as such, which they didn't. They didn't go to no seminary school. Yahweh didn't go to no seminary school. His apostles didn't go to no seminary school. Yet they were the greatest teachers. Okay, they were the greatest teachers. Explain that vocab. Explain that. You can't. Okay, because the Holy Spirit is not dealing with you. You cannot get the Holy Spirit. Speaking of the Holy Spirit, you cannot get the Holy Spirit at no seminary school. It's, the Holy Spirit does, does not deal with no seminary school. Okay, and, and we teach by the Holy Spirit. For it is, let me end with that. For it is not ye that speak, for it is not you that speak hope it comes up we are moved by the holy spirit we teach by the holy spirit it is right here the book of matthew 10 and 19 but when they deliver you up take no thought how and what ye shall speak for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak for it is not you that speak but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you there you go the Holy Spirit, okay? And that's something you can't understand, man. All right, so I'm going to end it there. Pretty much a quick video right to the point. And I'm in the midst of watching uh, Elder Yashawamba's video. And, you know, I was just inspired to do this video. Hopefully it was edifying to you, brothers. And I'll see you in the next video. Shalom for now.